clock in, clock in. Black guy just got looking around in their own hood since they so good. Right now, we about to clear the L. We about to clear the L from all this toxic waste flying in the L, all this toxic shit we breathing from this clown 6 9 When I'm speaking, there's no way of insulting my dude when you insulting your damn self by trying to portray an image that you're not. You not no thug. You not no gangster. And... I'm not just saying that to throw salt on your game, make you look bad. You making yourself look bad. You making yourself look stupid. That shit is really fake. You look scared every time. And you know what's crazy about it? You scaring everybody around you as well. You look very scared. I'm speaking to my peoples right now. My peoples, my subscribers, my family, and my team. That's what y'all are to me. Once you lock in, we all think alike. So therefore, when y'all hear me tripping, when y'all hear me saying something that you feel is not right, t talk to me in the comments. Let me know. Black got it. You're kind of tripping right now. You're letting the media trick you. That's what y'all supposed to do. So look, to clear all the cake on Chief Keith's situation, they had a reason to be skeptical, looking around, you know, being on that Q's and P's. Not only because... They got 6 9 talking all this raw raw. But due to the fact, do y'all not remember Chief Keith made a song called Finito? Basically saying he gonna blow up New Jersey. To the fucking thing. I'm riding through New York. Skirt, skirt, bite, bite. Finna go and shoot New Jersey up. Bite, bite, bite. Trying to take my chain, they ain't going. I ain't going. We gonna come and blow New Jersey up. Bite, bite. Why would he not? already be somewhat aware of his surroundings so it has nothing to do with 6 9 fully why he act the way he was over there and me covering that you know all i can do is you know do my job and speak on how everybody was acting how everybody looked but y'all supposed to already tell me black guy to pay attention to this bring things to my attention we a team we won so boom what we about to do right now we about to watch this clip. 6 9 just posted not too long ago. He just posted it. And we about to see why he's chasing clout, chasing attention. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you don't know the difference between real and pretending to be real. Because it's one thing to be real, and it's the next to act like you real. And he has a good reason to act like he real, because it's bringing him a lot of money. But chasing the wrong fame could put you in the right casket. And me, I don't wish death on nobody. I don't wish no harm to nobody. I think everybody should live to their old. But you, you chasing the wrong thing. It's dudes out here really living that. And sad to say, that whole little sh Chicago scenery, nine times out of 10, all of them boys really living that. All of them boys really grew up on some gutter shit. Just like you trying L.A. All of them is real deal gang members. All of them grew up in this shit. They mamas is gang members. They daddies is gang members. They grandma, granddaddy, they whole damn bloodline is them the gang members. How you gonna disrespect the root of gangs and claim a gang? You feel me? That's just my perspective on it. But look, we about to watch this clip to see what this nigga has to say. And you know what we finna do? We finna break it down and look at all the bullshit. Come on, crack in. You know that shit, man. Takashi 697 fuck seven on fucking Billboard, man. Y'all you know what the ahead, fuck man. going on, man. How this nigga's How, in, nigga, in nigga, the I've country, been out, man. I've been out for a fucking couple months, nigga. I'm fucking seven fuck seven on fucking Billboard, man. Treyway shit, man. You know that shit. Y'all can't go that. home. He, he, he home. Y'all niggas can't go home, man. Uh, See where I'm at, man. No. See where I'm at, man. I'm gonna fucking for Hold on, blood. I'm on foot, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm home, nigga. I'm in the heart of Brooklyn, nigga. Y'all niggas can't go home, nigga. Yeah, that's why he's 7 for 7. Nigga. Authentic seven shit. Seven. Authentic Pete, shit. Come, come hey, what, the, what the here? What, what the here? What the here? Keep the drip, nigga. Matter of fact, Pete, right here, look. Look, look. Got a hole in my shirt. Pete the boxes, nigga. Still with the hands. Look. 
Pockets fat, nigga. Fuck y'all niggas talking about, nigga. I'm seven for seven, and I'm a, I'm in the heart of Brooklyn, nigga. Y'all niggas can't go home. Fucking hood, nigga. This is my hood, nigga. I go home, nigga. Seven fucking seven. We're still in the hood. Five months. Patent records. I'm pretty sure y'all got the same thing I got out of that. That's all he really doing is promoting himself with all the beef. He's saying Chief Keef them not good in they hood. Who is you to tell him he not good in his hood? Is you good in his hood? Is you good in Chicago? Can you go there? Can you do what they did in your hood? No matter how or where they was, they surround us. Can you even do that? Can you go out there and even walk through somebody's trap and hang out? Can you do that? I'm waiting. I don't think you can. I don't think you can even go to Chicago and chill. I doubt you can. And Black Goddess said that. Pay attention to how they looking around in their own hood since they so good. And second of all, they car is right there, my dude. This man's so scary, I'm starting to people he does. He hops out his car, shoot him a little video, talk his shit, and jump his little scary ass back in the car and take off. Who else you gonna be at? One of that rock he just climbed out of. The reason why he's probably wearing the same clothes, same drawers, holes in his shirt. He's so damn scared he can't even hop in the shower. All he could think about is down. Somebody gonna really knock me out. Stop talking shit for these clowns. Let's keep it real with the real people, my dude. And me, I'm gonna respect real. Once I see you do something real, I'm gonna respect it. You feel me? Me, by doing my job, by covering everything, that's what I'm doing. I'm covering it. No matter even if I don't agree with it or not, I'm gonna cover it. You feel me? However they make it look, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna put my two cents. I got a strong team behind me to pick me up when I'm tripping. So fuck a nigga. Fuck you if you're not with Team Black Guy, cause we strong over here. That is bullshit. And wash your ass. You gotta wash your ass, my dude. I want y'all to pick something else. Did y'all see that? Now pay attention closely for his whole career. He's capitalizing off of talking shit and starting beef with other people. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts some shit with Drake next. I wouldn't be surprised. But I have a good feeling if he didn't already run into the wrong people with this bullshit, he's gonna run into the wrong person real soon. It's gonna get to a point where no matter how powerful the people are around you, ain't nobody gonna be able to help you. You already tried one of the biggest platforms in music, which is LA. And you try one of the most savages platforms in music, which is Chicago. And I don't even know why Rhonda cool with you. I don't know how much bands you done dropped in his account, but pretty soon, I'm sure it's gonna come to the light that Rondo is not really fucking with you. And he gonna tell that you not really own what you want. So you need to continue making music and you need to stay out of the way. Or you can, you know, set up your schemes and stuff. You know, set up fake beefs. You know, that's what you should do since you're not really keeping it real. Set up your fake beefs, you know, and stay out of the way. Me? I ain't really got too much to say about this. That's enough. Clock out, clock out. Black got it. Just walked up. Mother on the beat.